All right, guys, I have one question. Have you played pushers? You probably did, and you probably hate playing against them like I did when I was a junior. Since I was six years old, until about 15, 16, until I learned how to play against them, all these moon ballers, the hitting high balls, absolutely despise playing a game. And I would get so irritated as soon as the first ball comes up there, and you, you don't know what to do with that. The ball bounces, it goes over your head, you're running back, trying to hit the ball back to them, and it just gets frustrating. You're losing all the energy, and the guys just keep pushing that stupid ball back, and you don't know what to do. Are you with me on that? Do you hate those pushers? So here's the solution for you. This is a secret that a lot of people don't want to work on. Sometimes some coaches tell you, oh, don't hit swinging volley because it's so challenging. It's only for pros and blah, 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 blah. You know what? Forget it, man, guys. If you're not a 2-0 or minus 2-0 player, man, you can do it. Trust me. We have teach so many kids here and adults that are playing just maybe for six months or so and they can master swinging volleys, I guarantee you that you can master that shot. You can get, beat those pushers and high uh, ballers for sure. So let's get into the video. We're going to show you all the secrets how to beat those pushers. 9,998. <laughs> yeah. 9,999. Yes. Yeah. Whew. 10,000. Yeah, oh man. Oh, that was tough. Guys, we got 10,000 subscribers just a little bit before, and we want to thank you, appreciate for your support on this YouTube channel. Now, we want to say thank you to you. And what we're going to do, if you comment under any drill video that you, you watched before, just like, I like this video, and we're going to do a random drawing, we're going to post a video on that specific drill that wins the most. And after that, we're going to post it on YouTube. You can enjoy getting better in your, on, in your game. So again, go under the link below, comment, I like this video under any video you like, and you just one drill away. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do. We're gonna, I'm going to give you a few simple drills that are going to help you with your swinging volleys in order to step in and crush those balls that are coming high and uh, so annoying to you as it was to me for so many years. Now, first drill that we're going to do, we're actually going to self-teach ourselves and we're going to fit the ball to ourselves. And then in the future, you might need another drill master like you, uh, some paranoid tennis freak that wants to get better as you are, as we all do, and uh, help you out in this drill. So let's get into the first drill. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the first drill. Uh, it's a very simple drill, you can do it on your own, you don't need a partner. Uh, there's two ways to hit that swinging volley. Uh, one way you can hit it with the open stance and another way of closed stance. And I have to recognize which one you're going to use when. So for example, if you're inside of the court, you hit an aggressive shot, the guy hits a high ball but it's coming fast, you can actually get set up just inside of the court and hit open stance and swing through the ball. Now sometimes you're going to be moving into the court. So let's say you hit a ball from behind the baseline, you're hitting a heavy ball or fast ball, and all of a sudden they hit a short ball, they put, could potentially land right behind the service line. You have to move forward, it's easier to turn sideways to hit close stance and follow through to the net. So depending on what kind of shot it's coming to. So we're going to do both. Uh, the first one, this is what you're going to do. You're going to stay in the open stance already. Make sure your feet are sideways already. You know, um, you're not just facing that. and you, Otherwise, it's going to be very hard for you to turn sideways. You, your hips are going to be locked. And it's very challenging to get the shoulder turn. Now, make sure your, your backswing is not too big. You're going to keep the backswing short because we're not trying just to complete uh, smack the ball. The timing is going to be very crucial on those balls because with the bounce, you have a little extra time. Here, you're stepping in. You're really taking the time away from your opponent, but as well as you don't have time yourself. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to stay sideways like this. You're going to toss the ball up, and you're going to hit it over net. I know Aris is scared. He's like running away from me. And again, toss and hit the ball up. You see, and I have a shoulder rotation. So you want to make sure you have central figure force where you're rotating your uh, body uh, over your central line of your body. So central line will be from your head down. And we're going to toss the ball and rotate again. Now, if the ball is a little slower, you can move forward. So you can do same out open stance where your left foot is a little bit in front of you. So you transfer your weight as you're rotating to your left leg. If you do complete uh, open stance, you're just going to have a rotation over your central line. So if it's open stance like this, you're going to do a rotation. Now same out open stance, you transfer your weight forward a little bit to your left foot. Now let's do a little bit of a close stance. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to be already 
sideways and I'm gonna toss the ball just a little bit in front where I'm gonna have to move forward and transfer my body weight forward. So I'm already sideways and I'm moving forward. I'm already sideways and I'm moving forward. Very common mistake on the uh, close stance here is when people actually hit the ball too close so they cannot transfer their body weight and they miss those swinging volleys and they completely give up from doing those. So let's do a few more times. We're gonna be sideways toss the ball and you transfer your body weight forward. Make sure you hit the sweet spot. The swing itself is gonna look just like a regular forehand. Some people, they try to just block the ball volley but it's too far away. So they give a short ball which a person can attack. Some people just overswing, trying to crush the ball and then they make a mistake. You're just hitting just like your regular forehand. All right, in the second drill, uh, we're gonna be doing a split step. We're gonna implement split step and a shoulder turn. Uh, so we're not gonna be already set up. So we're gonna have to do a little quicker. So we're gonna do a split step, turn the ball and hit it in an open stance or semi-open. So we're gonna do split step, turn like that uh, and then we're going to implement a little bit of the shorter ball so you're going to toss the ball a little bit away so the ball is going to be slower you have to move to it you're going to split turn make a step forward and then follow through you're going to split turn and follow through and again split turn and follow through now uh, in, the, in the third drill what we're going to do we're going to mix it up so we're going to fit some walls that are closer to us right in front we're gonna do open or semi-open stance and then after the next ball away from us we have to step in and drive the ball forward so let's start with it so you're gonna split turn you can do a little faster a little bit more challenging and getting back another close stance open stance so as faster you do it you're gonna get muscle memory you won't think as much uh, I know sometimes you, you got to get confused, you'll be like split and do that and that you're just you're not going to get enough muscle, you're going to overthink, it's going to be too mechanical, you want to do it very quickly and fluent so they'll help you out. And the next drill, after you completed those three, uh, we'll have your partner fitting the ball and you'll have to decide which one you're going to use, you'll see it in a second. So in this drill guys, uh, we're going to have a person, a partner, ball machine, whatever, you got to just ha have to set it up appropriately so the balls are coming high and try to practice what you have ju just done yourself where you're going to make sure when the ball is coming deeper or faster you're going to hit open or semi-open stance and close stance on the ones that are coming short. Let's get into it and see what happens. And here I'm going to use close stance. Now this one I can use open stance because the ball came Deeper, now close stance again. You can step in, drive the ball. Here I'm gonna use semi open, I can get set up a little bit better. Again, open stance. Here we go, if you miss deeply, you just gotta get more top spin on it. Here we go, and again, there you go. And the last one, get him like that. So you can see guys, it's very easy to practice it. You just have to get some repetition, get, make sure you got a swing correct. And you can put so much pressure on the pushers you're gonna play against and beat them. Now, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming today and we'll see you next time. Are you on me with this page? Are you on me? Are you with me? <laughs> Are you on me? On me?